Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Drew Sinju here. Today, we are back with yet another World of Warcraft video. Today, we're going to be checking out the burdens of Xiao Hao, um, all of them in this video because they're quite short. If you guys do end up enjoying or enjoy my World of Warcraft comment, please do make sure to like and subscribe. We're so close to 8,000 subscribers. Plus, I'm going to be doing tons of more World of Warcraft content. And without further ado, let's get into it. You know, prelude the vision. Ooh. So, is this about. The panda Ten people? thousand years ago, all the continents of Azeroth were as one. Oh and wow, they were at peace. That all the rivers in the world flowed to one magical place. Hey, hold on. This so they were actually at peace at one point. The ancient empire of Pandaria. Pandaria, yes. In the most fertile of river valleys, at the far end of the world behold the last emperor on the day of his coronation his it's a coronation was Xiao Hao Xiao Hao oh this is young Xiao Hao the burdens of Xiao Hao to be emperor and wanted for nothing the wealth of the great Pandaren Empire was his to command oh wow all Pandaren emperors begin their reign you look by a little evil with the great Jinyu elders. It was said that the Jinyu could talk. Although everybody in the comments keeps telling me there is no good or bad in this. Everybody has their bad apples and everybody has their good apples. To the rivers that they could hear whispers of the future in the rippling waves. The great water speaker closed his eyes and oh, listened to the through him. He listened for the Emperor's long life and prosperous realm, but he heard something else entirely. He doesn't live a long, peaceful life, does he? The wise old Jinyu saw a far away land, a kingdom of elves grown bold in their arrogance. Uh -oh. He saw a pit of fire, a great maw opening upon countless horrors. Numberless That's bad. Is Shao Hao powerful? Forth onto Azeroth, rending the land, corrupting Damn. all he touched. Even if the demons were defeated, the world would be forever broken. Wow. Forever shattered. I'm assuming that's exactly what happened. Exactly, that's probably exactly what's gonna happen. They're gonna get defeated, but now everything's completely separated and the world's just convoluted. Oh, that that hurt his brain so much. He was like, nah, Emperor this ain't the Shao future, bro. It can't be. Watched in disbelief as the Jinyu water speaker reeled from the terror of his vision. Wow. What did you see? Xiao Hao asked. Nothing good, Long sir. Life? Prosperous realm? But the future <laughs> he said that with hope in his heart for the last emperor of the Pandaren. Oh wow. Oh, young Xiao Hao could not rest on the riches of his empire. Knowing he's the last. If he was to save his land and his people, he would be called to do something great. He would embark on an epic journey. He would sacrifice all that he was. Wow. This is his story. Ooh. Okay, he's a legend for that. He said, nah, I'm putting it all on the line for my people. Can he change the future, though? Okay. Part one doubt. Didn't even have to move my mouse to check it. I was putting that on screen. What's, what's you doubting, bro? Probably, like, the future of his whole entire life. What is he going to do to stop this, though? The horrible vision of the Sundering weighed heavily on Emperor Xiao Hao. As it should. Cold and alone, he ascended Mount Neverest, seeking wisdom from the Jade Serpent. Who's that? What troubles you, young emperor? Oh. The spirit of wisdom asked. Xiao Hao replied, 
Countless demons will soon pour over Azeroth. What must I do to save my kingdom? That's the awesome. The serpent answered, Seek out the heart of Pandaria. Seek out the heart. For the answer lies within. Ooh. But how can I find it? The emperor protested. Your emotions cloud you, said the serpent. Free yourself of these burdens. Let the land be your teacher. That is really cool that, like, the, um... The spirits are represented through dragons. That's actually legendary. But the emperor did not understand. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> we go in there? He soaked to be honest, to what was he trying to say by that? Forest. As he traveled, he commiserated with his old friend, the Monkey King. The Monkey King? I just want to say one thing. Did he really expect to get, like, a straightforward answer from, like, the, the spiritualness of wisdom? Wisdom is, like, you know, you're supposed to do something to figure it out. Like, was to have a long like go through life, an experience. A prosperous realm, the emperor cried. I cannot do this. Also, sorry for my camera Relax, shaking. My tripod broken. King. It broke. We are in this together. As he spoke, the four winds began to howl. A great gust blew the Monkey King away. <laughs> Why? The Monkey King laughed and called out above the rowing storm. Sorry, you can't fight fate. The oh. Emperor cried out for his friend. No, wait. The, the Monkey King kind of seems I like a chill dude. do this alone. And in that moment, all of Shaohao's uncertainty was manifest. In a terrible dark energy, a shah of doubt. Ooh, it's his own energy going the more against him. The emperor struggled. The more he weakened, the shah would surely overtake him. It's him. Is he fighting himself? Like a battle and with himself? Shao Hao remembered the wisdom of the jade serpent. Yes. And he looked to the land for answers. Nearby, the bamboo of the jade forest was also threatened. Okay. The reeds that stood rigid against the gale broke under its force. Ooh. But the reeds that bent with the wind endured the storm and go with the flow in the rain. Let what happens Shao happen. Shao realized the lesson of the reed, and when he turned his back to the shah, suddenly, all his doubts vanished. He, he, knew he just needed to lock in. He could be more than just emperor. The four winds carried the laughing monkey king over the valley and through the wilds. The emperor's faith led him onward to save his friend and to stop the terrible sundering the does, water speaker does had the monkey foreseen. king Does the monkey king really need saving? He, he seemed kind of happy. He seemed kind of chill. Bro, that dragon low-key reminds me of... He was on some Master Uguay stuff right there, bro. So is this panda just gonna be going through his, his inner feelings? Is this what this is about? <laughs> Part 2. Despair. Man, I just gotta say also, I like to do this every video. Shout out to the animators. Y'all cooked up again. Who's it in the team? Emperor Xiao Hao, free of doubt, pursued his friend. The and the voice King. actor. With the wind at his back, Xiao Hao ran. But in his haste, the emperor stumbled. What happened? Into the oh, he just fell. Untamed swamps of the Krasarang Wild. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. I feel like the Monkey King was he was mad chill though. Like, did he need was he in danger? For real? No! The emperor cried out. You can't die like this. This would be the dumbest death of all time. Himself, but only sank further. You're really gonna the die? More the emperor worried, the deeper he sank. His worries had taken form. The shaw. Okay, it's another life lesson, real right here. You have to have hope. Shao Hao cried out, "Help!" Far above. The majestic red crane of hope soared. Yes. Hope Why never dies. So? The crane asked. 
I have lost my friend, my kingdom, Xiao Hao cried. It is hopeless. Your friend you haven't lost him yet. is not lost, the crane replied. You are. You are. Hey, I can tell what's Again, going on here. Xiao Hao look. See, because I feel like they're contrasting the Monkey King and Xiao Hao. Like, the Monkey King, he's just chill. He's just going through life. He's, he's at peace. He was like... Oh, we're all going to get invaded? Let me fly with the winds. <laughs> See you next week, brother. Whatever happens, happens. And then him, he's just trying to stop everything, which is understandable when you're put at such a high pedestal like Xiao Bao is. But, like, you got to find peace, brother. You got to find peace. To Pandaria for the answer. That shock, though. He saw the great tree growing in the middle of the swamp. The branches reached for the heavens. But its roots stretched deep into the earth. Xiao Hao's feet found purchase. With hope in his heart, the emperor reached there you upward, go. and the grip of despair loosened. There you go, buddy. Always have hope. I must never forget who I am, he said. I am the emperor. Ooh. And I will save this land. Okay. Confidence. <laughs> he got that. R3? Fear. They gotta let us know. The awkward silence of the first couple seconds of this series, man. How will... How will Shao Hao fight fear? I honestly don't have a clue. It's Shao funny because there's always like a random animal saving him. Laughter on the wind, but it came from the west, beyond the serpent's spine wall. This was the land of the Mantid, mortal enemy of all Pandaren. Oh wow! I cannot do this, Shao Hao decided. Oh, he's fearing. Trembling, the emperor turned to leave. You Where leaving? Are you going? Asked the voice. I'm afraid to go on, said the emperor. Looking into Who's the talking mist, to him? He saw a great black ox. Just oh. follow your feet, the black ox said. They will know the way. Ooh. Shao Hao descended the wall. I need to know who these fighters is. They are actually coming up with very good quotes. And crept through the strange realm. To the emperor. Bro, you it are the emperor. He had so much confidence last episode. But so much. Led the way. Soon, he heard a dreadful sound. That does sound disgusting. I'm, I'm turning back now too. Three vile mantid. Oh no, save your buddy. Argued. He's in danger now. Split up and devour their prize. The monkey king. Monkey king's not chill anymore. With terror. The insidious. Shaw of fear held him in place. Oh. It's funny because the overall message I'm getting from this is that Xiao Hao is actually powerful, but his own feelings are actually what's holding him back. It's it's literally nothing else. Like he could go whoop up those three things that are fighting the monkey king, but he just has so much in stuff wrong internally. The voice of the ox came to Xiao Hao, saying, You must not let your fear control you, my emperor. That's something you I need to work on, too. must control your fear. Fear. Xiao Hao looked once again to the land for answers. If fear didn't the exist, bro, Bari trees of life would be great. Long steps were legendary for their sap. In one bead of amber, Xiao Hao found his answer. I will not be paralyzed by fear, the hey. emperor proclaimed. Hey! Hype Shao moment. Hao hurled his weight against the nearest tree, and giant globs of oh, wow. <laughs> rain down from above. Oh, and stunning the bugs. The who were held fast as yep. they struggled against the sap. The emperor hey, you see them dashing strength. in the background? As they fled. The Monkey King was overwhelmed by doubt. Emperor, we cannot do this alone, he cried. You should create an army to crush the Mantid once and for all. 
free of his now he knows and master of his fears okay that's awesome confident than ever no said Xiao Hao. the storm that burns the sky comes for the mantid as well oh wow we need an army to crush a legion wow can you see him that figure kind of looks like illidan related or not i'm not sure that's awesome though because now now he's helping the monkey king that's legendary anger's a mm, anger's a tough one okay i'm almost about to make him angry The last emperor of Pandaria faced a terrible fortune. A burning legion set to tear the world asunder. Oh, are they there now? That's not good. He had cast away his doubt, despair, and fear. Now, confidence brimming. He would build an army. This is a whole ass movie, now that I'm thinking about it. High atop the peaks of Kunlai Summit. The 100 greatest warriors of Pandaria. Wow. Perfected their arts under the watchful eye. Got a tiger? The white tiger. White tiger. The spirit of strength. Ooh. I so that's need spirit an of strength. army. Xiao Hao announced. I have come for my warriors. But the white tiger recognized the great darkness within the brash emperor. And what's that? Why do you fight? The tiger asked. The tiger can Xiao talk? Hao bristled to destroy I guess that makes sense. demon hordes to crush those who oppose me. No, that is no reason to fight, the tiger said. Ooh. You are indeed fearless, but still, you are burdened. The emperor scoffed, so the white tiger issued a challenge. Okay, Take what's the challenge? Staff, and if you can touch any one of my warriors, they are yours to command. <laughs> Wait, why so didn't you like reason? The howls of the monkey king. The emperor spun about. Is he gonna get angry because he can't touch him? The staff. But the warriors easily dodged his every blow. Furious, Xiao Hao roared. And now he's angry. The sum of all his rage, the shah of anger burst forth. Oh wow. That is actually really creepy and like kind of like a really good representation. I just have to say, the storytelling in this is amazing, bro. They're representing all these things so well. They represent a fear, despair, and anger so well. The emperor fumed and broke the staff over his knee. Violence and hatred erupted. Yeah, that's nasty, man. You see now why you are not ready to lead? The white You're angry. Came. Your anger does not empower you. It makes you weak. Hey. Defenseless. Gotta let him know. Xiao faced the darkness he had created. As one, the Shah struck out. They just destroyed his anger like that? But as the smoke cleared, the Emperor stood unharmed. The shape <gasps> of a mighty warrior lay broken at his feet. A warrior who had paid the ultimate price to save his emperor. Wow. That is Xiao Hao's tragic. Heart swelled as he knelt humbly before the white tiger. Mm -hmm. My rage exacted a heavy toll, the emperor said. A single sacrifice has shown me the power of fellowship. Wow. Of love. From anger to humbleness. Of peace. Yes. The white tiger. Why is the story hitting my heart so much, bro? Again, I ask. They didn't have to Why kill off that dude, though. Fight? For home and family, Xiao Hao replied. Much better answer. For the people, I protect. For them, 
I would give my final breath. Just like that dude Thank did for you. you. White tiger. Wow. That's a bond, bro. That is a bond. Like, everybody's willing to give their lives for each other. Relieved at last of all his burdens. Wow. Rose. That's a beautiful Gone story. Monkey King. We must go to the heart of Pandaria before all is lost. Y'all got an army with you now. As the Emperor and his friends set out, the skies grew black. For the time of the Sundering. It's here. Come. Yep. Hey, it's time for the reckoning. Wow, bro. Okay, last video we're watching today. Uh, cause it's the last series, part five, the slendering, the slendering. I feel like that's not a good word. <laughs> slendering. Okay. I don't think this one has to do with like him fighting an emotion. I think this one's just gonna be the the war fight for peace the fight for freedom and so Xiao Hao came to the heart of the land the sacred veil within the center of his empire purged of all his burdens yeah the emperor radiated enlightenment that's wonderful bro <laughs> monkey king's like <laughs> oh no he's in shock he's like damn They're here. Inside the veil, his people. Well, they're already fighting. For shelter. Oh no! Okay. They knew that the end of the world had come. Yeah. And they cried out for the emperor to save them. People of Pandaria, Shao Hao declared. Lock in. Stay calm. I'm rooting for you, Focus bro. Focus your minds, and together we will make it through this. You gotta ask advice, bro. People did not understand. They didn't go through what he went through. How gazed upon their faces. Fear. He saw the burdens that he had overcome. He recognized doubt and despair. He saw his people frozen in fear or trembling with anger. And he knew why are angry. He had little time to learn what he had learned. So that's what that's where you come in. You gotta be strong for your people. What? Time. My people need time, the Emperor realized. What does this mean? And in that moment, the Emperor recalled the lesson of the Jade Serpent. Seek out the heart of Pandaria, for the answer lies within. Ooh. Are you aren't you the heart? How reflected on his journey. He looked to the land and saw a single blossom in the wind. Okay. No matter the burdens I faced, he thought. The land provided guidance. But the truest answers always came from within. 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 And then it became clear. What? I was to have a long life and a prosperous realm. But I am more than just emperor. I now know what I must do. Ooh. For I am the heart of Pandora. I caught it. Yes. Damn, bro, they had me locked in there. I was like, People what is he cooking? Of Pandaria, Shao Hao proclaimed, he can fly. You are not yet ready to face the storm that comes for you. And I cannot stop it. But you will what? weather this storm and many more. Did he just I die? I will give you the time to learn the lessons that oh, I have Oh no, is he going to sacrifice himself to give them time? Don't do it, bro. And then the last emperor of Pandaria sacrificed all that he was and all that he would be 
and gave his final He's literally the Jesus Christ of World of Warcraft. The land. Wow. That's a good ass story, bro. He's literally the Jesus Christ of World of Warcraft, bro. A dense mist surrounded and protected his empire. And while the rest of the world broke apart in the fury of the sundering, I'm a bit sad he died, but Daria set itself free. But yeah, hidden. It was worth it. The Emperor's breath. It drifted out to sea, like a blossom on the wind. Damn, playing the little sad music too. Like, hey, the trees in the Vale have never stopped blossoming. That's nice. And in time, we Pandaren learned to live as our emperor lived. In peace. His lessons endure in the temples of his land. That is and so from the snowy peaks cool. of Kunlai Summit. He watches over us. And it is said that if we listen very closely, he speaks to us still. Oh through the mists. Through the mist. Bro, that makes me just want to be more peaceful in life. What a good story. These Thank you to who recommended this to me. To us. That's just beautiful. And this is Got the Pandaria. Dragon of Wisdom. Pandaria. The Burdens of Xiao Hao. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really like this. I don't know if you can tell. This, is, this was a good story, bro. I really, really really like this one so thank you to the people because there was multiple people who recommended me to react to the series thank you so much i'm so i wouldn't have known about it if it weren't for y'all so thank you so much that was a really good story a really good message everything all around so i just appreciate y'all so much and if y'all did enjoy my reactions to the burdens of Xiao Hao, please do make sure to like subscribe turn on post notifications and we'll see you guys next time peace